Welcome pastel artists and those wanting to learn more about pastel painting. This is a quick tip about something I know a lot of us have experienced. I did a video, oh, a couple of years ago about how to straighten out warped UART paper. UART sanded paper is awesome, but many of us have expressed our frustration with how it can warp and curl, especially in humid climates where I live. These are some photos I found online of other artists who are equally as frustrated with um, UART paper curling like this. I've tried many ways to straighten this out, but I think I have the best way that I've ever found, and I'm sharing it with you from my own bathroom. Here we go. Hello, art family. I know that my guest bathroom is an odd place to be filming something for artistic purposes. However, there is a point to this, and the bathroom is the best place to do it right now. Um, I'm going to show you a fix for a challenge that many of you have had and I've had over the years, and I have had minimal success at fixing this challenge, but I found something the other day, kind of a happy accident, that uh, may be the solution. What is that problem? is the fact that UART paper curls a lot in humid climates, especially where I live. I found this to happen a whole lot when our home flooded two years ago, and I had a lot of my UART paper that did this. But it'll do this, um, you know, even in my home, in a very nicely air-conditioned home, I'll still get the curling situation. So um, it can be really hard to work with after you paint and you know, then you, I put them in the plastic bags and trying to work with it curled. So um, here's something I discovered. I'm gonna take this piece of UART paper and a sponge that I'm gonna dampen with some water and a regular blow dryer, but the, the tip of the blow dryer is like this. This is one that kind of comes on and off and it's just got that flat, um, tip that you can actually put right on the surface. Okay, so what I'm going to do is on the let's not put my blow dryer in the sink with water <laughs> is on the um, surface of the sanded side. Okay, I'm going to dampen my sponge a little bit. You don't want it so wet that it's just drippy wet. And um, then I'm going to take my UART paper and I'm going to wet it on the um, on the UART sanded side. I'm getting a little bit of that sponge residue on there, but it's okay. It'll brush right off. I'm also noticing it, this works as a really good eraser too. I had some pencil lines on this side and um, it just wiped them right off. So it's just like a clean piece of UART paper. All right, so we've got our piece here that's wet, flattened it out a little bit, blow dry the back side. It's always experimenting around here. All right, so let's make sure we get this right. And this took less than a couple of minutes to get it dry, and once it was dry, sure enough, it was as flat as it could be, ready to put on my easel, and uh, I actually already completed the painting for my next tutorial, so stay tuned for another fun and informative art lesson from Monet Cafe. Happy painting!